Welcome back to Daybreak, everyone. We have Mercy Dr. Byra Bemberry joining us via Skype. Morning. Good morning. I hope you're doing all right. I hope you're staying safe and everything. We are. I'm still coming to work every day, fortunately, but uh, now everybody's taking every precaution that we can. Uh, we are switching gears a little bit this morning to discuss something other than the coronavirus, which is how you know, I'm wearing one right now. Wearable technology, an Apple Watch or a Fitbit, can help people detect heart problems, right? They can. So, uh, wearable devices like Fitbit, Apple Watches have become much more common today. And the Apple Watch is the one that's the most commonly studied. They came out in 2015. They sold over 325 million devices in 2016. And the Apple Watch Series 4 and 5 now can take a 30 second single lead EKG so they can potentially pick up irregular heart rhythms in patients. And I've talked about this before, but atrial fibrillation is an irregular heart rhythm that can cause a rapid heart rate, and it also increases a person's risk for stroke. About one in five strokes are caused by atrial fibrillation, and in folks that have it, 18% of the time, the first symptom they have is a stroke. So if there's something that we can do to help detect it earlier, uh, that would definitely be a benefit. And it's often intermittent, meaning they don't have it all the time. So if they come to my office, we could do a 30 second EKG and they're not having it at the time, we may miss that diagnosis. And so they end up having to wear these cumbersome devices called an event monitor that they may end up having to wear for a month or two to try to uh, detect the irregular rhythm. And so that's the for the Apple. Well, go ahead. Oh, was that how was that what we you were left to before this sort of technology really came into play? You had to wait for someone to possibly get a stroke or maybe show a symptom on the chance they saw you. In some cases, yeah. Now with the event monitor, oftentimes we can pick up the atrial fibrillation, but some people have it so infrequently that even if they wear a device for two months, it may not pick it up. So some of the advantages of the Apple Watch is that it can potentially pick up these irregular rhythms and help in the detection. Plus, a lot of times patients with AFib, they'll feel palpitations, they may have a rapid heart rate and end up going to the emergency room. And so if they're able to take a EKG with their watch at home or other device that they can use, uh, they may be able to help save themselves a trip to the emergency room if it's not atrial fibrillation. And also, uh, some patients have a treatment where they keep a pill on hand that if they go into atrial fibrillation, they can take the pill, slow their heart rate down, and take them out of, uh, out of uh, atrial fibrillation. Okay, so it there sounds like there's a lot of benefits to this. And Dr. Bumberry, from what I understand, the watch will notify you when something's wrong, but I know you also want to talk about some of the downsides of this technology. Yeah, so they're not cheap. The, the Series 4... Uh, costs around $350. The newest C Series 5 costs anywhere from $400 to $800. And atrial fibrillation is most likely to occur in older adults. And of those that have Apple Watches, only about 5% of those are over the age of 65. 20% of people stop using them after the first three months of getting one. And after a year and a half, only about 50% or less are still using them. Plus, if, um, if you have sweaty skin, if you've got hairy skin, people that have more darker pigmented skin, they're not as reliable. Uh, if the pulse or heart rate is under 50 or over 120, such as with uh, more strenuous exercise, they're not as accurate. And there's no evidence of accuracy as proven by the FDA. So <clears throat> it's not to replace uh, a visit to the doctor or an EKG, but it, it can help in the management of atrial fibrillation. All right, important to know. Thank you so much, Dr. Bumberry, for shedding a little light on this and helping people take care of their hearts a little better, right? Thank you. You're welcome. And thanks for all you do. Stay safe and healthy. We appreciate you. <laughs> we'll be right back with Daybreak in 10 here in just a few minutes.